This thing here is the Redmi Pod Pro guys and I just managed to update it to the Xiaomi Hyper OS version 2 and we can see because when I go here I can see Hyper OS version 2 and what is more important guys Android 15 but this wasn't the case yesterday when I bought this device I was stuck on Hyper OS 1 and no matter what I did I was only getting one and the same thing and this is <laughs> as you can already see yeah this thing right no updates found so no matter what i was doing guys i was always getting hey listen no no updates were found this was really really very bad see here no updates available guys uh, and this really drew me crazy i tried whatnot and eventually i was able to find something that works thanks to the guy here at this redmi pad pro ready to thread so this is dead kz so he's saying i managed to update the hyper OS version from 1.0 to 2.0 through the rename trick and believe it or not guys this actually works but it's a bit tricky so I need to tell you how I did it because eventually you are probably not going to be able to get it right from the first time so honestly what you need to do is just the following all right let me show you on the tablet I've connected the tablet to my PC and this is important, this really helped me. So guys, when you go inside the tablet and you can see here in the downloaded ROM, there's gonna be nothing, right? So what I did, I downloaded the official update that is released by Xiaomi. This is the Xiaomi Hyper OS 2.0.3.0 VNS EUXM. This thing here is the recovery update. But I, when I try to flash this directly from the tablet, guys, this wasn't working. So now, what you need to do, and pay attention, guys, here in this window, I have um, the internal storage. So I go inside download, and then I go inside a downloaded ROM. There is nothing. So what I need to, to do, guys, or what you need to do is just click download the latest update package. So what your phone, if you're stuck on the Hyper OS version 2 or your tablet is gonna do, so the moment you initiate this, your phone or tablet is going to download the very same ROM, guys. And from here, what I do, I am just going to put this up in a pop-up window, right? Why do I do so? Because, yeah, we need to play a dumb trick here. And this trick is the following. So right now here, you can see that my phone or tablet or your phone or tablet is downloading the current ROM. And here, guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back on the PC, guys. I am going to just copy the name from the ROM that my tablet is downloading and I will here go and rename the Hyper OS version 2 to this name. So then guys, I'm gonna get this file on my tablet, okay? This is very, very important, right? So you need to copy this on your tablet, all right? Let me do this, so I'm just gonna now, boom, put it here. And then guys, pay attention, we are still downloading the ROM. You need to be very precise because what we need to do right now when this is almost over to 99%, we need to take the ROM that we just renamed, which we know is Hyper OS version 2, but renamed to the update one name and just replace, move the file, all right? And this is gonna be really tricky, guys, and I just got it right, I think, from the fifth or sixth time. If this thing flies, then your phone or tablet is gonna think that it downloaded this ROM and it's going to start to extract the ROM and then hopefully install it. And in my case, I was lucky and it worked. And it really worked also for a lot of other guys. You can just check this from the Reddit thread. As you can see, this is now Hyper OS version 2, but it's using <laughs> the version 1 file name. And guys, what you need right now to do, again, wait until you reach here up to 99%. And then the best thing that you can do is just click move, right? And then move this directly in the downloaded ROM folder. Now. Disclaimer here, when I tried to do this, I failed. So I did this from the PC directly. How did I did that, guys? All right, I'm just here on my PC and this is the ROM. I was just looking at my tablet. The moment I hit like 99%, I just press Control X or let's say cut and I just press paste here and override, all right? And I really hope that you're gonna get it from the first time. I was not able to get it from the first time, but this is the famous rename and update trick. Why do we need to do this, guys? Well, this really works on a locked bootloader. It's absolutely official. And before that, I was just getting error messages that it was not able to verify the ROM or that I'm trying to flush something older, like really crazy. But nevertheless, guys, the only other option is to just submit an unlock request and then unlock the bootloader and then download a fast boot ROM. But this is, I would say, the least 
painful way, at least for the Redmi Pad Pro, but I believe that this will also work on your Redmi or Poco or Xiaomi phone if you're stuck on Hyper OS version one and only if and only if Xiaomi already released the Hyper OS to update. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, just go watch my Redmi Pad Pro video. Stay safe, VST over and bye. Thank you.